Welcome to Secrets of the Past. Throughout history, empires have rose and fell over decades, centuries and millennia. But what is an empire? While the term is widely used, it is frequently misused. The most basic definition is a political entity that has dominance over another political state. Essentially, it is a country or a group of people that has control over the political decisions of a lesser power. Number 10. Portuguese Empire 584 years. The Portuguese Empire may have been the world's first global empire. It began in 1415 when a Portuguese prince named Henry the Navigator grew interested with exploring the African coast. The Portuguese Empire was able to grow due to its better weaponry, naval superiority and ability to quickly establish ports for the commerce of spice, slaves, ivory and gold. The Portuguese Empire fell apart due to a variety of factors, including wars with the British Empire in Africa and the Republican movement in Portugal. Number 9. The Ottoman Empire 623 years At its peak, the Ottoman Empire was the greatest political entity in Europe and Western Asia. It encompassed a diverse range of cultures, faiths and languages. The Ottoman Empire began as a tiny Turkish kingdom expanding until it finally captured Constantinople in 1453 and then even further into Europe and North Africa. Civil wars of the early 1900s followed by World War I heralded the end of an era. The Treaty of Servla partitioned Ottoman Empire and led to the establishment of a new Turkish state during the Turkish War of Independence. Number 8. The Khmer Empire 630 years the Khmer Empire existed from around 1802 until 1431, and its capital city of Angkor was believed to be awe-inspiring, due in part to the Angkor Wat, one of the world's greatest religious complexes. The majority of its rule was defined by conflict, as the Khmer strove to expand and acquire more land. The Thai migration of the 12th to 14th century marked the empire's demise. Eventually, the Thai established their own minor kingdoms, and as these kingdoms rose in power, they began to assault the imperial lands. Number 7. The Ethiopian Empire 666 years Ethiopia and Liberia were the only African countries to stand up to Europe's scramble for Africa. The lengthy rule of the empire started approximately 1270, when the Solomonic dynasty defeated the Zagwe dynasty. Civil warfare contributed to Ethiopia's downfall, but it was at least dry for expansion that ultimately led to its demise. In 1935, Italian troops invaded Ethiopia, waging a seven-month battle until Italy was victorious. Number 6. The Kanem Empire 680 years The Kanem Empire was founded approximately 700 CE and lasted until the 1380s. The empire's history is divided between two dynasties, the Duwaga and the Sefwa with the latter being the main force behind the introduction of Islam to the kingdom. To support jihads, a hereditary nobility-based military system was established. This arrangement led in civil conflict, which weakened the region and exposed it to assault. Bulala invaders captured Nimji in 1396 and finally took control of the whole Tanam Empire. Number 5. The Silla Empire 992 years the Silla Empire, which ruled over what is now southeastern Korea, began in 57 BCE. Silla's dominion grew steadily, capturing a number of kingdoms on the Korean peninsula. In the 7th century, the empire was at war with the northern kingdom of Goryeo. A century of conflict among high-ranking families and conquered kingdoms caused the collapse of the empire. Number 4. The Holy Roman Empire 1006 years the Holy Roman Empire existed from 800 to 1806 and included a considerable portion of what is now Central Europe. It was seen as an attempt to bring the Western Roman Empire back to life. The name stems from the fact that while the Emperor was chosen by the electors, he was crowned in Rome by the Pope. The Holy Roman Empire, like the Ottoman and Portuguese empires, was made up of many ethnic backgrounds and smaller countries. In 1806, Napoleon Bonaparte forced the last Holy Roman Empire, Francis II, to abdicate and the region was reorganised as the Rhine Confederation. Number 3. The Republic of Venice 1100 years 
The Venetian Empire was formed when a group of lagoon settlements banded together for protection against the Lombards, Huns and other steppe peoples. The Venetians governed for over a thousand years, from the late 7th century through to 1797. Unlike earlier empires, its fall was caused by battle with its neighbours rather than civil struggle. Piedmont fell to France and Napoleon Bonaparte gained control of parts of the empire in 1797. Number 2. The Kush Empire 1419 years The Kush Empire or the Kingdom of the Kush was an ancient empire that existed between 1069 and 350 CE in what is now known as the Republic of Sudan. Over its lengthy history little is known about its politics, nevertheless there is evidence of monarchs in the latter years. It exercised influence over other lesser kingdoms in the region and managed to preserve dominance while pushing south to capture territories rich in timber, a resource on which they relied. Number 1. The Roman Empire 1480 years One of the most influential empires ever to exist, the Roman Empire spanned modern day Italy and most of the Mediterranean. It possessed a lot of power but in the 3rd century Emperor Diocletian decided that two co-emperors could relieve the strain of its vast growth, setting the groundwork for the eventual Western and Eastern Roman Empires. In 476, Germanic soldiers revolted and deposed Romulus Augustus from the throne of the Western Roman Empire. The Eastern Roman Empire flourished, becoming more widely recognised as the Byzantine Empire by modern historians. Combined with growing unrest within the empire, the plague and social turmoil, the empire fell when the Ottoman Empire conquered Constantinople in 1453. And that brings us to the end of our list of the top 10 longest lasting empires in history. I hope you enjoyed this video, I'll see you again soon, thanks for watching.